Well, it's Monday morning, so it's exactly a week since I put something up on uh, on the channel, and that was me. I was drilling some steels, etc. So I've built this roof last week, and I'm just coming now for doing the fascia and soffits. So what we've got is a truss roof. We've got a sprocket detail on the end. We're using a 25 mil WBP backing soffit. So this isn't the final soffit. There's a UPVC anthracite one which goes underneath and there's a UPVC anthracite fascia. So basically we run around a tantalized six by one. It goes flush with the underside of our ply. It's a really nice strong detail. Um, we can tile the roof and we can fit that fascia board when we fit the gutter. So there's no chance of it getting scratched or, or ruined. So I'm just on the hip sprocket now and I'm going to show you how I get around that. So these sprockets are made up with a simple template. I'll show you that on, a minute, on the saw in a minute. So the sprocket for the hip is obviously different because the hip rakes at a different pitch. So what I do first is I take a datum, which is the intersection there, mark it on the hip, take a section of timber, which is what I'm going to cut it out of. I offer it to that datum at the top. I set it here. And then what we need to do is measure up plumb to that distance, so 111 mil. And we set that on here. Just find the pencil. It's always a good, always a good idea. So we're taking, um, in this case, 111 mil. Mark that there. So basically, what I've got to do is take it from here, pass it through there, and leave it slightly long. Then I'll fix it and I'll take the corners off in situ. So what we'll do, we'll take that down to the saw now and we'll do that. So I set myself up out here, chop saw set up, and I've got a new Milwaukee battery circular table saw, which is absolutely brilliant, to be fair. I thought it was going to be a bit bogus, but and I've been ripping down furring pieces, I've been doing the sprocket pieces, I've got a 9 amp power battery in there, which is pretty good. It's getting a bit low now, in fact it's on one um, light, there's five lights. So it might give up halfway through this, in which case we'll just put another battery in. So there's the sprocket we've marked, got a couple of points on there, we're going to go from A to B. Now there's a couple of ways of doing this, freehand, or there's another technique you can use. So for the sprockets on the rafter, this piece of ply is set up, I cut some equal sections, they're 450 long in this case, put them in there, and I carefully push that through, push stick, boom, and that's made breaking them up. Bring them over here, put the square end against there with the angle set on there, bang, and they're all exactly the same, so you can't go wrong. So this, these two hip sprockets, which I need to do now, there's a Different, two different ways of doing this, you can freehand it, or I will show you another trick. Take a parallel section of wood, just break it down a bit, the size, we'll just knock a bit off that. do is we'll fix that onto there temporary with a screw and we'll push that through the saw against the fence and that will give us an exactly nice and straight cut so we'll just screw that on there quickly go and get a couple of screws there's a um, lot of rain yesterday if uh, everyone were out playing it was a lot of rain going to screw that on there, just off the line, fit it to the saw blade in this case. It's only got a hold, hasn't got to be all the way in. And then, you can just set that up here. The only thing I don't like particularly about this is a bit clumsy and there's lots of edges and bits that stick out. 
And sometimes when you pass something through, it actually interferes like that. So for this instance, I will do something which is a bit shunned, frowned upon. We'll take out that riving knife section and we'll run that through. So here we go. Air defenders on, goggles, gloves, glasses, everything else, and away we go. Rocket we were talking about here and what we get is another one out of that section Voila, so we have two now so now we're going to go up and fit them on I'll show you how that's done so there's our sprocket the top corner is in line with all of those ones and the same on the other side. So a simple method, simple matter of fixing that on. Some nice. Now the next trick is simple. In this case, is we're just going to be cutting that straight off with that. Boom. That's how you fix and make a sprocket. In this case, a hip sprocket. So thanks for joining me. Keep checking back. See you soon.